Hi, Peter Charles here, Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today let's talk about a problem that all of us probably will face at one point in our lives. Uh, and some of us, as we get older, we're facing it a lot. And that is the idea that our dominant hand, and I'm going to use right hand as being dominant since most of us are righties, our right hand uh, does all of the work, and our left hand is really lazy. We use it for holding things while our right hand does the real work. As a consequence, if we ever have to fish with our left hand, uh, we can run into problems. And there have been a situation in my life where I had no choice but to use my left hand. It was in 2009, and uh, our typical routine when we arrive in Cape Cod is to dump all our stuff in the cottage, grab our rods, rig them up, throw in our waders, and run down to the beach, because we're only about 100 yards from the beach. So get down to the beach and uh, get right in there and start fishing. Well, that particular day, there was a gale blowing from the south, which means it would be right on my right hand. And uh, there's no way you can get a cast up with your right hand in those conditions. However, I was studying for my uh, casting certification, and the uh, casting uh, method has this funky sort of open palm type casting, which puts the fly on the left side. Sounds cool, right? So I I'll do that. However, I, mean, I don't think anybody anticipated that you'd be using this method with a 10 weight saltwater, stiff saltwater rod, an overweight line, a hunkin' huge weighted clouser with a gale coming from the, the right side. As a consequence, I partially tore a tendon in my elbow. The next morning, I couldn't even lift a spoon to my mouth. I mean, my right arm was virtually inoperable. So I went out in the yard with uh, my rod and started to teach myself to cast my left hand. And by the end of the week, I was actually casting quite good with my left hand. I could get, you know, 70 odd feet out of my left hand. It proving that if you're really stuck, you can do it. You can catch fish and cast with your opposite hand, in this case, my left hand. So, but, so this was a torn tendon, but I've also, you know, got arthritis in the hands. And if I have a flare up with the right, I can get away with using the left. I've also got various ways to hold the rod where I, I don't put my thumb on top. I hold it more what we call a key grip, which is like this, where the, the shaft of the rod is going between my thumb and my forefinger as opposed to having my thumb on top. Different things like that that I can get around with my thumbs, but there wasn't any getting away with the elbow. So if you have any kind of problem, whether it be you know an injury, a stroke, you know, whatever it might be, or just arthritis in my case, where I can wear, you know, wear my hands down and I have to do something different in order to cast. So I'm going to go over to the schoolyard and I'm going to cast my left handed, uh, with my left hand, sorry, and, you know, talk about the issues and talk about what to do. And then we'll come back here and finish it off. Hi, Peter Charles here for Fly Fly Fishing. And if you're observant, you'll notice I'm casting my left hand. Uh, it's not a bad idea to get used to casting with our left hand. Now, I, I've got wind coming this way. And if I was a righty and I was, you know, casting right-handed in this position, uh, I would have problems. So, you can learn to cast with your left hand. I realize you can cast like this. That works too. But the trouble is, when you, you're, if you've injured your right hand or your right arm, like I did one year, and, uh, or you might have had a stroke, or you might have some nerve damage in your arm, which, you know, can happen to people as a result of an injury, you might find it very difficult to cast with your right hand. And being able to cast with your left hand not only enables you to deal with different situations, but you can also deal with injuries and other issues. And I've had to deal with that myself. So I know the value of being able to work with your left hand when your right hand isn't working for any reason. Um, it also helps, you know, when we've got a wind coming the wrong way uh, and you're on a boat, for example, you're going, you know, and you have to cast off the left side of your body. This becomes quite easy and uh, it really, really does cut down the problems uh, of hitting the guide in the head with your fly when you can cast with, one, uh, with both hands. I'm right-handed, so for get, me getting my left hand going was a bit of a trouble. 
but uh, if you're a left-hander, you've already got half the job done because you live in a right-handed world. So you're used to being having to do things with your left hand. The only uh, thing I find that gets really tricky is when I'm dealing with uh, line management. And it's funny, it's my right hand that doesn't want to work properly. Uh, it's not used to doing that job. And it's kind of odd, but especially with a two-hander and I'm doing uh, stripping and everything with my right hand that's normally done with my left. It's, you know, all of a sudden the right hand doesn't want to cooperate. But it is quite useful. I mean, I do realize we can do this. But, you know, if you, as I say, if you damage your right hand, um, then it really pays to be able to work with the left. So let's get back into the office and we can talk about some ways to do this. Okay, there you see. I mean, I was casting reasonably well with my left hand. Now, something to keep in mind is when we train ourselves on our left hand, uh, we're developing pathways in the brain on how to do it with our left hand. Those pathways are not de well developed unless you're using your left hand constantly. If I'm constantly using my left hand casting, they get very well developed. If you do it once in a while, when you come back and pick up a rod with your left hand, it'll be a bit like starting over. Don't worry, you get back into the rhythm fairly quickly, two or three casts, and you start, okay, now it's starting to go. But you can have that moment where you go, oh, Jesus, it's like starting all over again. Uh, but that disappears fairly quickly. Now, there's some things we can do to help ourselves. For example, get used to drinking your coffee with your left hand. Put your mouse on the left side. I do this all the time. I move my mouse to the left, then to the right, then to the left, then to the right, to sort of even up the wear and tear on my arms. Uh, reach for things with your left hand. Put things away with your left hand. You know, start using your left hand in a sort of different way. Like, for example, I'll open the fridge door and reach in and grab the item with my left hand, not my right. So little things like that help get the sort of the left hand part of the brain, you know, the part of the brain that controls our left hand, gets it used to doing things. And, uh, you know, another thing I just thought of, I use my trackpad on my la uh, laptop with my left hand a lot of the time. So doing these things makes it easy when you go back on the water and you have to use your left hand because wind, maybe you're on a boat and you don't want to whack the guy in the back of the head, whatever it may be, you know, if you have used your left hand a lot, uh, then, you know, you're going to be in a much better shape. Now, left-handers have a great advantage over us righties is that they live in a left-handed world. So they're using the right hand a lot, but us righties, our left hand can be awful lazy. So keep that in mind, start using it for all sorts of little chores. And then over time, that left hand will become a lot more usable. And you'll find, like I just walked out to the schoolyard, picked up the rod, and instantly started making casts with it. And that's simply because I use my left hand a lot for a lot of, try to see even some pre precision things with my left hand. And it, it just, you know, makes that part of the brain work. And the more it works, the better you'll be. Because I'll tell you, if you can cast with your left hand as well as your right, wow, do you have some advantages when the wind is nasty or you've got obstacles or whatever the case may be. You can get cast off where other people just are looking and going, I can't cast in this situation. Well, you know, when you've got a left hand and you can cast with it, trust me, it works. And if you've got torn tendon, you know, you've had a stroke, you know, what, uh, you know you've got some problems with your hands, oh, it's a lifesaver able to cast with the other hand. So don't be afraid of it. Oh, one last thing. If you are beginning uh, your fly fishing uh, journey and you've come out of conventional tackle and you've been casting a spinning rod or a bait caster with your right hand, I bet you you'll be a better fly caster with your left hand. I've often done that with uh, newcomers to the sport when I've been teaching somebody who's never picked up a fly rod before. Often with their right hand, they are wailing away with the right hand and can't get anything going, but with that left, all of a sudden they're casting quite well. It's amazing. Sorry for the siren. We live next to a hospital. I've got my window open. It's a warm day. I want some fresh air, but we live with the sirens. Anyway, what I was saying, if you are a conventional angler and you're having trouble fly casting with your right hand, switch to your left. You may find that you can actually cast a lot better with your left hand than you can with your right. And then your left hand informs your right in how to do it. It's quite cool how that works. And I've done it many times with newcomers and it works every single time. 
So if you're brand new to fly casting, try it. It works. Cheers.